Row zero is a next-gen spreadsheet built for big data. In this video, we'll show how to group by date in a pivot table. To get started, I've connected to Snowflake and imported a sample sales data set. And I'm going to create a couple of pivot tables that group by date. So let me create a pivot table from this data, and I'll drop it in here. And this is a connected table, but I could do the same thing if this was cell ranges that I had imported from a file. So I first want to group rows by date. So I'll pull my date field to rows, and I'm automatically given a couple of options. I can go from exact date time all the way up through hours and days and weeks, months, quarters, and years. And for this demonstration, I'm going to choose week. And let's look at the total sales by week. And we'll also look at the average order price by week. And I can format this, make it a little easier to read. Let's also format the date and sort. So this is now giving me my total sales by week and my average order price by week. I can easily chart this, Just insert a chart. And looks good. We can make this a little bit smaller because I'm pretty zoomed in here. Okay, and you can apply any value calculation to your date groupings. So I can go back to my pivot table and let's say change this to the max order of the week. And this is the max specific to that week. I can also change the date aggregation dynamically. So let's say I want to change it to month and all of this data updates and you can see my chart updated too. So now my chart is aggregated by month and each of these rows is aggregating this value calculation by month. Okay, so now let's take a look at grouping columns by date. So let me just duplicate this pivot table and we will double click in here and let's move the date field to columns. We'll look at total sales by state, move state to rows. And I can just quickly format this. So you can see it's very easy to summarize any data set by month. And as new data comes in for a new month, it will just add a new column and that new month's data will fill in. So now let's take a look at how I can schedule auto refresh so that the data automatically updates as new data becomes available. So if I go back to my connected table up top and click into the editor, I can click on the calendar icon and I can schedule auto updates uh, each day. I can also rerun the query as new data becomes available. So let me just demonstrate that. This is just a sample data set, so I'm gonna pull in what I know is an updated data set. So let me click run. What you're gonna see is everything in the data updates with new data. So this goes through the end of February, and let me click run, and this is gonna come in through April. So you're gonna see the data updated here. And if I scroll down, my pivot table now goes through April and my chart now goes through April. So as you can see, row zero makes it very easy to summarize data by day, week, month, etc. And I can easily automate updates. And row zero supports massive billion row data sets. So you can pull in big transaction data sets, log files, website analytics, and build dashboards and recurring reports. You can try row zero for free at rowzero.io and see why row zero is the best spreadsheet for big data.